Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We hope you're having a blessed day wherever and whenever you are. We're so glad that you've come back and joined us for another daily Bible reading. Now we're continuing our journey through the Bible in 60 days. Just jumping through the Bible, getting a little taste of it as you will. And you can find this plan and other plans like this on a website called questionsgod.com. That's questionsgod.com. You can also check the playlist on our channel the Bible in 60 Days for Kids playlist. You can catch up with all of our readings there. But guys, we're a family channel just trying to put out this positive content. And today, we're going to continue with, this will be the last gospel of the four gospels that we'll read in this plan. Now, we'll read this for a couple days, but we're going to be reading John chapter 11. A few days, not a couple days. Yeah, a few days. It'll be three, it'll be, yeah, this is true. We'll be doing three days in the book of John. We're going to read John chapter... Four. Oh, one, two, three. Three days in the book of John. We're going to read chapter 11 in the NIV. But we're going to read up to verse 44. So 1 through 44 in chapter 11, we're going to be reading about the raising of Lazarus. Famous Jesus miracle. Squirrel. Squirrel, that's right. So, so Ian, you would like to read this one? Yeah. All right, Ian. So Ian's going to start off with the death of Lazarus. Now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus now lay sick, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. So the sisters sent word to Jesus, Lord, the one who love you, you love is sick. When he heard this, Jesus said, This sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory so that God's Son may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was for two more days. And then he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. But Rabbi, they said, a short while ago, the Jews there tried to stone you, and yet you are going back? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours of daylight? Anyone who walks in the daytime will not stumble, for they see by this world's light. It is when a person walks at night that they stumble, for they have no light. After he had said this, he went on to tell them, Our friend Lazarus was fallen asleep, but I am going there to wake him up. His disciples replied, Lord, if he sleeps, he will get better. Jesus had been speaking of his death, but his disciples saw he meant natural sleep. So then he told them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and for your sake I am glad I was not there, so that you may believe but let us go home, go to him. Then Thomas, also known as Didymus, said to the rest of the disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. Jesus comforts the sisters of Lazarus. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem. And many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Martha, Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that you, even now God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord. She replied, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God who is to come into the world. After she said th has said this, she went back and called her sister Mary aside. The teacher is here, she said, and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. 
Now Jesus had not yet entered the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews who had been with Mary in the house comforting her noticed how quickly she got up and went out, they followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to mourn there. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother will not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, See how he loved him? But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there for four days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice. Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out with his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, Take off the grave clothes and let him go. Awesome. And that, you said it was awesome. And, and the shortest verse. Yep. So Ian is pointing out the shortest verse, and that would be... Uh, John chapter 11, verse 35. verse 35 is the shortest verse in the Bible, and that is Jesus, Jesus, wept. Jesus wept. But guys, we appreciate you joining us. As always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. That's how you can support the channel. But we thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye! God bless.